Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to deploy your own model. This assumes that your model has already been containerized. In a separate video, I'll show you how to take a model, maybe from a notebook, for example, and actually build a server and then containerize it, right? And then once you have the container, you kind of are landing where we are today. So um, the first thing you do is you go to Lightning AI, go to AI Hub, and right here you have this new uh, deploy new API button. If you're already logged into the platform, it's the same place you'll see um, custom container, right? So I'm already logged in, so I'm gonna hit this. And then um, I have the option to use a template, so any of these here you can deploy out of the box or you can bring your own. Um, so let's go ahead and bring my own. Now I have this public container here, this is on, on uh, Docker Hub, right? You can store containers on ECR, your own registry, doesn't matter, as long as you can provide the password to it. So it can be private containers as well. You put in all their information here as a private secret. And, um, and so that's my container. Now, the container um, was built to serve a LLM specifically, and um, in that when the server starts, it'll be listening on port 8000, right? So I'm gonna set that here. Um, maximum replicas, I'm gonna leave it at zero. Zero means that when you don't receive a request to the server, the server will auto scale to zero, and thus you will not be charged. So it's a great way to have servers running that don't have a lot of usage or have very, very sporadic usage because you only pay for the few seconds when that server is running. And in the event where your server has a lot of requests, we can actually enable it to auto scale beyond one, for example, like this, right? So it'll actually scale more and more as needed, and you can change the setting later. Now in this particular container, if you, this is a simple way to do this, right? So I could hit deploy right now. If you're an advanced user and you're used to something like Kubernetes, you've got a lot of the same settings here and you have a lot of the same control, right? So here I'm choosing the cloud account that I'm gonna deploy to, right? Um, you could connect your own cloud account in the platform and will actually deploy to your like private VPC at any of the cloud providers. It's very simple to connect. It takes less than a day. Um, just reach out to us and we can help you do that. Um, we can choose uh, all the regions here. So we'll pick all the regions automatically or you can specify regions. And then the machine here, I'm actually going to do it on an L4 specifically. You can do it on any of these other machines. Now, container, um, so we've already kind of gone through that. Now, I want to specify the model, um, which you can do in this particular container. Again, this command is very specific to my container, which we built. In this model, this container actually takes in a model from the Hugging Face Hub, and then um, you have settings for it, like the length for it. So that's 4,000. You have the port that's already here. And then I also want to add a health check to this, so I can do that here. I can say, hey, my server has this endpoint implemented on it called health, and um, that way you can ping it to like monitor it, for example. You have authentication as well, you can do environment variables, etc. So this looks pretty good, so we're ready to go. Um, so I'm just double checking everything one final time. Uh, let's see here, auto scaling, great. Yeah, I'm not gonna change the settings here, these are pretty good, but you could modify the rules for how to auto scale to zero or um, beyond one node. Okay, so I'm gonna hit deploy and that's really it. So now I'm gonna wait a few minutes for the machine and everything to get set up, um, and then you're gonna be able to monitor this. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this part of the product here. So first of all, you have the ability to share this with people. So as I'm working with people, I can say, hey, I wanna make this appointment public to anyone in the world with the, the organization. So ours happens to be called Lightning AI, and then you can invite users, other people to kind of do this appointment with you as, as well, right? Um, here. When the server is running, you'll have an API playground in which I can actually test the server and send requests to it, right, um, as well. And then I have the ability to monitor once I'm getting requests and the thing is running, it tells you uptime, latency, throughput, et cetera, et cetera. When the server is run coming up, the container, you're going to be able to look inside the container and you see the whole life cycle for this cold start. Cold start means the machine was spun up, it wasn't available. Uh, it didn't exist, and then I started running the server on there, and it came up. Now, the first part of that is kind of waiting for the machine. The second part of that is actually starting the machine, right? Um, the next part is going to be image pool. So a lot of this has to do with how big your container is. So this is a lot something that a lot of scientists and, and uh, researchers don't think about, but when you bundle a lot of your model stuff into a container, if you have a lot of dependencies or data, it's gonna be very slow to start. So you want to reduce the number of dependencies and the number of files and data in there as well. And I'll show you how to do that in other videos. 
Um, so this is going to take a bit. Now you're going to see logs here as well. So you see that everything's kind of happening. Um, if you are looking for more auditing and like a trace of what's going on, so this is really good for production use cases. You have a trace of all the events that have happened. Did servers come up or down and when they did. You can also make new releases. So I could make a new release, for example, right? So I can say, hey, let's, let's go to the next container. Maybe I have a, I don't know, V2 here, for example. And then when I press next, then I can decide how we're going to do the update. So like rolling update in this case, right? I'm not gonna do that because I'm still waiting for this. Um, and then you have all the other settings, who ran, where is it running, et cetera, et cetera. So I can see that it's on Lightning Cloud and AWS specifically. So yeah, I'm gonna give this, uh, it looks like it's still coming up. So I'm gonna give this, uh, I'm gonna pause this video and give it a few more seconds to come up. And then when the server's ready, we'll start using it. Okay, so now I'm here and you see here that um, the server is running. I can look at this particular replica and look at what's happening. So I can see the GPU, CPU, et cetera. Um, the cold start time, logs, etc. So I'm gonna step back to the deployment and you see the um, what's going on, right? So servers, uh, requests are coming in. So you can see one request, uptime, latency, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I'm gonna test the server. How do I do that? I can go here to the API playground and I'm gonna actually tweak the predict one, right? So I can test the health of it real quick just by sending health and you see that it's okay, great. So the server's running. Now, this server happens to be for an LLM that's OpenAI spec compatible, right? And that really comes down to how you build a server. This is how this particular server is built. So in order to make it API compatible, um, OpenAI spec has this endpoint called v1 slash chat slash completions. And then this is the body for it, right? So this is kind of the, what the request would be. Again, um, whoever developed the container knows what these things are. So this is the model, the message, role, et cetera and I can give it like maybe better, longer tokens, right? Um, okay, so this is what it is, and you see that it is replying um, how many R's in strawberry, and it's telling me that there are four R's in strawberry, right? So one, two, three, um, it's not very good model. Um, I would suggest maybe a model like an R1 that is a reasoning model that actually will give you a reasonable answer. That's really it. So this wasn't even five minutes, right? Most of it was kind of me telling you how other things work, but like, this is it. I've deployed um, a model in my own cloud account or in the, on the Lightning Cloud, and all I had to do was bring my container. In a separate video, I'll show you how to build that container, um, but that's really it. The rest you can kind of monitor on the platform as well. So uh, yeah, good luck deploying things. Um, this thing, was, uh, didn't cost me anything really, I think a few cents, it's an L40S. The platform gives you, we give you 15 free credits per month. So you can do a lot for free here, like this didn't cost me a cent. Um, you'll just have to create an account, um, make sure you use your university or um, work email to get, um, to get on the platform faster. And then, and then off you go, you can start deploying models all day long. But this is a lot easier than most people make it out to be. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys employ, uh, deploy a lot of things. And if you have any questions, definitely uh, drop in the comments or send us a message on our Discord or um, on Reddit as well. All right, thank you guys.